how to use slack for project management as a complete beginner hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can use slack for your project management and how to better your teamwork basically slack replaces emails by providing you all the necessary equipment and software in just one place so without wasting any more of your time let's just jump into the video so the first thing i want you guys to do is come over to slack.com now once you're over here on this website you can just simply sign in on slack by you clicking on this button right here or signing up with google or you can even click on this button over here at the top or this button over here at the top as well so let's just click on this button right here which says try for free wait for a couple of seconds now once you're over here all you have to do is enter in your email address and then just simply click on continue or you can continue with your apple account or your google account whichever one you choose it doesn't really matter but let's just enter in our email i will see you guys in the next part of this video so now that we've signed in using our email the website will look something like this now if it's your first time using slack and you're about to create a workspace you will have to click on this button right here now if you use the same email to create another slack account and you already have an existing workspace on slack it will ask you you either want to create a new workspace or log into the existing one but for me since i've used a brand new email i don't have any other exist workspace so i'm going to click on create a workspace now once you've clicked on the workspace it will ask you three questions the first one is what is the name of your company so over here you have to write the name of your team name of your team or the name of your media company or whatever organization that you are creating then just simply click on next now the second question is what is your team working on right now now over here now you can add in the work process that your team is working on it can either be about graphics designing or video editing or video production so simply write in media production and then just simply click on next and then the final question is who do you email most about media production and over here you have to basically add teammates or co-workers you know you can simply add them by entering their email over here in this bar or or you can then just simply copy this link and then share to them individually now write the email as you can see I've wrote down one email and it automatically gave me another bar now once you've entered in the emails of your co-workers or teammates then all you have to do is simply click on add teammates wait for a couple of seconds now if you already have slack on your desktop it will ask you to open slack on the desktop by giving that pop-up I close that pop-up but if you don't want to open slack on your desktop and you want to keep on using in the web then you can just simply click on this link over here use this button over here which says use slack in your browser click on it wait for a couple of seconds to load slack and here we go so this is how it basically looks like now over here as you can see the layout is pretty simple you have your options over here you have your search for team names over here P your person all your team members over here on the right side and then you all you you have your message board or dashboard here in the middle now as you can see over here on the left side we have a couple of different options and a couple of different things going on so let me just tell you a little bit about them so over here at the top we have browse slack so this is basically everything in one place so if you have any unread messages all your messages or your mentions or save items it will be over here so basically all the unread messages are going to be here all your peoples your files all the channels all the apps are going to be over here so if you want to access anything if you want to see anything you can just simply come over here and down below we have channel is channels is basically groups in which you can add people add specific people for their specific role so basically this for media production this is the main in general so the general account the or channel is basically the place where you talk to your entire team specific individual all of the members in your team are going to be in the general channel and then you have media production for me it's media production for you it might be something else or some other name that you specifically chose so basically for in media production you can add specific people in this channel so that are solely related to that part of your project so how do you i add people so all you have to do is click on this option right here so over here and this options will pop up and now as you can see we have the option of members so click on members and as you can see these are the three people that i created these are not real by the way 
these are the three people that are created that are in this channel so to add more people all you have to do is click on add and enter in their name or email address and then just simply click on save now if you want to remove some people all you have to do is click on this button right here which says remove and that person will be removed so let's remove this one and click on remove and as you can see that person has been removed now that is basically it now another question is how do we add more channels because if we want to add more channels we want more people if you have a proper company or a production team you will have more people and you will have to create more channels so to create a channel all you have to do is click on add channels button over here you have two options browse all channels or create a new channel so if you click on browse all channels it will give you a overview of all the channels and if you want to create a new channel just simply click on this button at the top right here and over here you can add in the name of that channel so for example we need script writers in a media production company so let's just write script writers and down below we have a description it is optional you don't have to add a description but so we wrote that this channel is solely for script writers so you have two options over here you can add all three members of your team or a specific person so if you have a specific person all you have to do is enter in that specific person so then just simply click on the name and then just simply click on add teammate and now you've created a new channel which is scriptwriters and you have a person inside the scriptwriters so that is basically it now if you want to send a message all you have to do is click write the message at the bottom in this bar right here you can add any messages you want now that you send a message now all you also have this option right here which is shortcuts so and if you click on shortcuts you basically have these shortcuts which is the, the first one is collapse basically collapses all the files in the current channel now at the bottom we have condition slash demo demo this is demo command it basically means i want a demo expand then you have expand it basically expands all the files in the current channel and feed help and invite basically gives you a prompt which in which you can invite another person or another teammate from a different channel you can basically write this code and it will invite another person from a different channel and over here you have your mentions you have your emojis you have your links and that's basically it and down below underneath channels you have your direct messages and in this section you can just simply talk to your team directly you don't have to you know talk to them in the channel if you want to talk to someone in private you can just simply talk to them here in their direct messages and the top one will always be yours this space is just for you now you can use this space for adding notes or scratch pads or or a to-do list or whatever you want to call it or a reminder you can just do whatever you want say to yourself whatever you want it's basically your space now let's get into the aspect of what makes slack so unique so click on team name your team project name or whatever you have written it come down to administrations and over here you will have manage apps click on apps and over here you will have all the applications that are going to be integrated with slack so as you can see it's empty right now so to add a specific app all you have to do is go over at the top right here and click on browse now once you've clicked on browse you can see that we have all these different apps that can be integrated with slack so we have google drives we have dropbox we have outlook we have google calendar we have zooms and we have all these different apps that we can use to make our workplace more smooth and more efficient so to add an app all you have to do is click on that application so we want to add in the google drive so click on google drive and all you have to do is click on add to slack add google drive app and allow the google drive to access your slack account click on allow all you have to do is authenticate your google drive account if you haven't done it already choose the account click allow and that is it your account been authenticated and your google drive is ready to be used in slack so over here as you can see down below in the app sections you have google drive and over here you have google drive now you have your google drive you can just simply access all of your files in then one go you don't have to go to a separate app and this is how you basically add apps to make your workspace more effective and more efficient so that's basically it for this video i've basically told you all the essentials and that you needed to know before you start using slack so if you have any questions let me know in the comments below and if you guys like the video hit the like button subscribe to our channel and i will see you guys in the next video and until then goodbye